Hello successful people. Um, it's January 25, 2016. Yay, Mercury retrograde is over. Finally. So um, I kind of still had some things to plant on a new tree. There's a bridge and um, on the way on the bridge, there's um, a nice tree that I've been acquainted with. So from the full moon, I've got some goods to give away, um, including an ocean jasper that's going to be planted to the ground, and I'm going to do it right as soon as I upload this video to my YouTube. On that note, I waited until Mer Mercury retrograde is complete in order to talk about this. If you guys can remember about me having gates opening of the government of Canada to welcome um, like two-thirds of the immigrants from Syria to Canada that they're Armenian and stuff well my mother's I didn't say anything guys but my mother's elementary school um, friends have showed up they've showed up I met a few of them actually about three months ago I know I didn't mention it one of them is just started working close by where I'm at. Um, he lives with his family in Richmond Hill. Again, Richmond Hill. <laughs> and um, then there's also um, another friend, my, like a best friend my mom had from elementary school. She lives like in North York. Um, and so they're bringing back that childhood together so you guys got to know that whenever I always mention like childhood inner child in my readings or like when it comes to magic and stuff whatever I do for myself it's for it it, it flows it spirals to my family and it also spirals to the world it spirals to people whether I'm connected to them or it's people that are connected to the energetic grid that I'm connected to. So you guys have to understand as healers, shamans, witches, spirit guides, you're not just working up for yourself and for your paying client. You're literally working for your entire DNA and people that are connected to your DNA energetic grid where they live and things that have happened in your DNA, things that you're not even quite sure of, okay? Okay. So when I say that I'm leaving a legacy behind, it literally is to enlighten and to awaken the people of the future so that they're aware of this. I haven't quite frankly met another healer um, that was able to ever tell me any of this. I had to, you know, experience it on my own and come to this conclusion on my own. And so it is, right? So on that note, another thing that I haven't mentioned and I feel it's appropriate to do so now is I'm um, known, pretty known in some areas of Europe, okay? There's, yeah, go figure, right? <laughs> um, I'm part of this movement. It's kind of, yeah, it's like a community, a spirit guides community type of thing. Um, it's kind of like a movement. It's, it's, um, it's all over Europe, but the home base is in the UK, okay, and, um, I, I know some people that are, like, from Europe and stuff, anyways, I don't want to get too much into that, but I'm gonna, that's so funny, I just got an email right now from some spirit thing as I'm talking about it, anyways, so, I just want to say, um, guys, if you're looking to have more, if you're a witch, if you're a shaman, um, and you're looking to have more recognition of your work, like, I highly suggest you, you know, like, connect with, like, movements, okay, and, like, communities and stuff, um, during this process right now, because this is the time to really get yourself out there in terms of, I mean, it's not a big bang where, like, you're going to be known like that, right? I mean, it's always good to stick with people who are going to support you. Um, you don't want to just enter and walk into a group or a movement or a community that doesn't appreciate you, doesn't support you back. Um, you know what I mean? But I 
feel because there's a lot of different movements there's a lot of spiritual communities that are like they claim to be a certain way and they're like they have like no ethics morals or values whatsoever they like allow so much crap to go on that it, it's like pretty nasty so do background checks guys if you're gonna you know but like i said 2016 is the year for you know um for us to be recognized worldwide on a global scale if you're in this for the money if you're in to make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars by each person and that's all you care about then i just highly suggest you go back to uh, college or university and try to get your um degree in medicine or like doctor or lawyer or judge because this is not your path okay the first the first thing you have to really truly understand is your heart okay this is in this is something that you do out of love out of passion as a calling um that comes first okay i'm not saying don't get paid i highly de believe you deserve to get paid uh, but um money it should never be the main Thing, okay so um yeah get yourselves known um get yourselves out there and yeah um I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else i have to say i think that's about it i think that's about it <laughs> um yeah, guys. Okay, so maybe I just feel like being in front of the camera for no reason today. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so. Oh, one more thing that I want to say is, do you guys remember my amethyst ring? Um, the one that like chipped on the corner at first after a reading I did for a client about moving. And then the entire thing like literally came off. Well, somebody heard about it. And thank god for armenian jewelers like most armenians are jewelers okay and um i'm not gonna stereotype armenians but a lot of them are jewelers and somebody found out so he's like okay you know what i'm gonna get your ring i'm gonna fix your ring and i'm like oh my god you're a doll thank you so much so i think he's gonna change the the backing of the ring and yeah because nothing happened to the stone nothing happened to the front if you can remember so i don't know um when he's gonna get it like when he's gonna complete it but i don't care whatever it was meant to be because he's just like well, you know what happened to your ring and i was like I, I just, it just chipped and he's like that's weird i've never seen that before and he's like there's no way you didn't i didn't even tell him about the reading that you know and then he's like there's no way you did it because He's like, even if you tried, it wouldn't have cut that straight. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so I'm excited to get my ring back. And it's going to be brand new for me. So my client got, got the home. And I get a new ring. Well, it's the old ring, but new. Because the stone was mine. But the backing was the past that had to go, guys. Okay, I talk too much, okay? See you later. Um, and bye. Ciao.